Hey YouTube, just want to do a quick video on my, this is my 20 gallon long right here. I just want to show you guys my fry. Took them out from a dragon blood a few days ago. There's about, only about 10 or 15 in there, but they um, still got four, four or five days to go before they lose that egg sac and they're totally swimming around. They look pretty cool. the egg tumbler I stripped a female a little bit too early from what I like to do I usually wait 14 days from the time I see her holding and then I'll strip her and usually they're free swimming here's a couple sick with babies that I've had before um, back there it looks like an OB uh, there's a couple trout in here trout Still small. There's a main tank. That's what the mama look like. Right there. It's pretty. Just wanna add the, there's another female holding somewhere in here. I'm gonna take her out soon. Let's see here. Right now. Mm, that might be her right there. Yep. She's gonna get stripped on the tent. Deep water haps, there's some electric blues, there's some tangerine tigers, there's some dragon blood babies. Should get them kind of big, well, not big, but an inch or so. There's what these called. Come on, all babies. Probably two months old. These ones probably three months old. There's some more babies I have. This is the 55 gallon. This is the 20 gallon. And this is the 75 gallon. Many more tanks to come. Pretty cool. I have a uh, FX4, and I have a 110 back there, Google 110, and a uh, aqua clear something, and then a 70 over there, Google 70. Cool fish. Got rid of most of my mabunas. I just don't really care for them too much anymore. I just fell out of them. Still got a couple. Still got this guy. He's cool. And still got this female. Uh, what else do we got here? Our dragon blood. Victorian. Uh, what's interesting is the female that's holding her, uh, she got together with the blue, electric blue. So I reckon they're going to be some pretty cool fucking babies. 
I'm excited to see what they look like. So I'll keep you guys updated and posted. I'm gonna end up putting them in this tank in about five days or so. These ones are gonna be good to take out. Uh, obviously not with the trout, but um, I gotta do something with the trout. But I gotta, I'll gotta take these ones out of here. And uh, there's a cool little guy. I don't know if you saw him. He's over there now. It's gonna look beautiful when he gets big. He's only an inch and a half now. Two inches, maybe. Uh, this tank, for some reason, does really, really well with live plants. I think it's because I don't put much salt in this tank. So, as you can see, this plant not looking very good. I just put it in here two days ago from my 75 gallon because uh, it was not doing good in the 75 gallon so what I'm gonna do is put it in here for maybe another week or so and it's gonna look beautiful again in this tank for whatever reason that's what happens with this these plants in here that just float around at the top they get super brown in this tank um, I put them over here for a couple weeks and they get bright bright green it's beautiful green and then I switch them back over so. alright guys like subscribe to the channel and um, happy fishing I am gonna have some really exciting things I think I'm gonna be a founder of a huge company that deals with fish uh, and based on the platform that I'm that I'm creating for or having been created for every one of you guys to be able to sell fish and things like that uh, much easier than than what's out there already in a very cool way so stay tuned guys I hope you guys have success with your tanks and uh, let's do this together. If you have any questions, just comment below. Shoot me a message. I will have babies for sale pretty shortly, maybe in about two or three weeks. So, uh, you know, stay in touch. I'll give you guys a good deal if you're a subscriber. Thank you.